Hi everybody, this is uh, Jarno, PF3 DMI. I made a battery indicator. And not just a simple battery indicator, but a battery indicator where the LED goes on when the power is down. The schematics over here is uh, very simple. It's just uh, two transistors. And the main components are really the Zener diode. With the diode you can uh, determine uh, when the LED goes on. For instance, uh, if you have a 12 volt battery, you just uh, use a 12 volt zener. And when the power goes below 12 volts, for instance 11.5 or 11.8, the power over the diode triggers the transistors and the transistors trigger the LED. So the LED goes on. On the left side of the of the drawing uh, I've put some uh, values 3.6 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, but you can use any type of uh, Zyna diode. The only uh, thing you have to figure out for yourself is uh, the resistor. Normally I use 1 kilo ohm 12 volts, but if you have a, a, a Zener diode of 6 volt, for instance, then it's about 700 something ohm you have to put uh, on the space where Rx is. So, and the transistor is uh, just a normal any NPN transistor like a BC549 or a 2N3904. So it's very simple. You have only connected between uh, on your or your battery on the plus and on the minus. Well, now I will show you uh, how it's really working. Okay, here's the already built indicator. It's very small. It's about. 1.8 to, to 1.3 centimeters, so it uh, will practically fit in anything, even in a small QRP transceiver. You only need two wires, minus and plus, to see what's happening uh, with your battery. You can also uh, use it in, uh, in a car battery, uh, for a car battery, or anything. Okay, now I'll show you how it works. Here's my uh, regulated uh, power supply. I can change the voltage. Okay, for instance, that's my new battery or old battery or whatever battery, but I can change the voltage so that might come in handy. Okay, hope you can see it. Now it's 14 volts. The small LED uh, doesn't go on. But for instance, if your battery goes dead, it goes from 12 volts to 11, that LED will go on. So it's very simple. And it works uh, practically uh, all the time. And it's handy. So. The total cost is about uh, a couple of euros. Two transistors are the most expensive. It's probably, well, one euro, <laughs> maybe less. So you, uh, it's, it isn't too expensive. Small project. Okay, if you have any questions, the schematics are underneath the movie. Otherwise, let me know. Bye-bye.